Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Okay, uh, so my topic is about uh, para water bra block. So I think uh, no need no need much introduction because uh, being introduced by our great Sifu already, Dr. Manoj. So maybe I directly went into the slide. Yes, yes, the slide. Okay. Uh, so what is the indication of uh, para water bra block? Okay, basically uh, it is a block for anesthesia or analgesia for thoraco abdominal. Okay, it's either surgery, <coughs> surgery, or acute or chronic pain. Uh, for my practice, uh, I use for uh, fracture ribs. Uh, fracture ribs that been uh, is either on bipac in ICU or in the ward which is uh, not responsive to uh, uh, strong opioids. So uh, for the uh, fracture ribs, I use uh, uh, because I free also uh, the catheterin, the para water para space. Uh, I insert the catheter through the uh, erector spinal plane block give a uh, bolus 20 cc and then uh, infusion 4 cc per hour the lytic cocktail epidural uh, minus the fentanyl okay but for the uh, thoraco abdominal neuralgia okay for example uh, post herpetic neuralgia herpes zoster uh, cancer pain basically the lung ca uh, stage 4 the mass is protruding outside yeah, posteriorly, you can see the mass uh, or uh, rib metastasis. Then uh, we can give a single bolus of uh, LA plus steroid. Because we know the nature of the malignancy, it can uh, produce uh, uh, inflammation and pain. Okay? Same goes to the herpes also, huh? inflammation and pain. So that one, uh, I use uh, para water blood block, LA plus steroid, uh, to be deposited into that space. Uh, position, basically, uh, sitting and prone. Uh, the prone, it is uh, the most stable uh, probe. Okay? Same goes to sitting. But when they refer to me, the fracture ribs, uh, I find it almost difficult for the patient to sit and prone. Then I use a lateral. But lateral is quite challenging because uh, when we identify the structure, once we insert the needle, patient move, pain. Then we lost. We lost the sonu anatomy and then our needle. Okay? So the best is sitting or prone. Lah. For the anesthesia, easy. Because before you can perform before surgery, uh, whereby patient don't have uh, pain yet. Okay? This, uh, there are two approaches. Basically, uh, transverse approach and uh, uh, sagittal approach. Okay? Uh, this is the interest uh, point because uh, Dr. Manoj uh, described about the retro SCTL. Eh? Because I always become uh, stressed. And because every time need to go to the para water blood space, we need to identify our tip of the needle so that we don't puncture the uh, pleura. Uh, now I'm happy. Lah. At least after this, I can uh, deposit it much uh, posterior or superficial to the SCTL. Thank you, Dr. Manoj. <laughs> okay, uh, sonu anatomy, sonu anatomy, okay. Uh, this is the uh, transverse. You apply the transverse probe, you can use either linear. Uh, for the CA patient, skinny patient, maybe linear. Uh, uh, for the big patient, maybe curve, curve probe, okay. Okay, and then, uh, uh, you 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 uh, place your probe uh, lateral to the spinous process, or you can uh, put on the spinous process, see the spinous process, transverse process, and then you search for the pleura, uh, pleura, and then uh, it's either you see the pleura or ribs, and uh, you, you you can move uh, down or up. Okay, you can see the video later. This is the structure. When you see the pleura, and then there is a shadow here, which is transverse process. This is the external intercostal muscle, internal intercostal muscle, uh, internal uh, 
uh, uh, membrane, internal intercostal membrane, and then uh, usually it is uh, continued with SCTL, superior uh, uh, costal transverse ligament. And then your needle is coming from here, you bypass, usually we don't go beyond the uh, transverse process shadow because at that uh, area we can see the tip of the needle. Uh, then you give your LA, you can see the LA spread there. Okay, uh, seems to be easy. And then the second approach is a sagittal approach. Usually I go from uh, lateral, uh, see the rib first. Uh, ribs, you can see the pleura clearly, and then the bone is round, round, uh, is round. And then at that time you move medially. Uh, then you can see the change from round to become the square. Okay, you can see. On the right, right here is a cephalet. Below, on the left is caudal. Right? You can see how the superior, uh, the shape of the superior costal transverse ligament. Okay, now the transverse process becoming uh, square, 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 and then the you can see the pleura. This is the paravertebral space. All right. Uh, I think this one uh, I took from the skinny patient, cancer patient. Eh? You can see, you can see the, uh, the, the level of the pleura, 2 cm. Yeah, very easy. Okay. Alright, pre-injection. Yeah, the same patient. Uh, so, your needle. Eh? Your needle, you should see your needle. At least you should see the tip of the needle. You can see the superior costal transverse ligament here. And then the tip here. And then after you inject, you can see the pleura is moving uh, downward, okay? Or push anteriorly or downward, okay? You can see the level of the pleura here, 2 cm. Here, about 2.5 cm. Uh, because of my carefulness, so far I don't have any pneumothorax yet. Uh, but very stressed, you know? Okay? It's not that easy. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, how, how, how you can say your PVB successful? First, you can see the needle. Okay, identify the uh, costal transverse ligament, and then you can see the pleura move. Okay, now we go to the <coughs> video. All right, uh, this, this, uh, this, this is my stuff, lah, basically. Uh, I thought it is uh, easy to visualize the uh, the part of water bra, huh? but it, as you can see, the pleura uh, can play. Okay, okay, this one transfers, huh? transfers. You can see the ribs, ribs, travel process, and then uh, I go up, and then because of difficult, the 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 view is not good. Then I decide to go down. You can see. After this, I go down, then you can see clearly. Eh? Okay, ah, you can see clearly here. Pleura, transverse process. Eh? Maybe you cannot see the uh, internal membrane here, but you can direct your needle up to here. Okay, with this uh, emerging of the read through SCTL, then easy. No need to go further inside. You just go at this area only. Uh, above the uh, SCTL or uh, internal intermediate membrane. Okay, easy. Uh, no need to worry. But still, you need to see the needle tip because if your needle tip is here, then you are in trouble. Uh, okay, this one is a sagittal. Uh, you can see here the plural, the plural, three centimeter. Maybe at this uh, stuff or patient, I need to use a curve probe, okay? But still, I can identify. Okay, this one is a round structure, ribs. Then I move uh, medially, okay? I move medially, then you can see the round structure become a uh, square. And then you can see here, SCTL, also some ligamum, pleura, and then the trauma process. But with the emerging of new technique, then you just can deposit here. No need to go down here. 
Uh, but since my, 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 my topic is about powder water bra, then you need to go down here. But very, very stressed, you know. <laughs> eh? Must see the needle tip. Eh? See the needle tip. And then the uh, SCTL and then the plura move down. Okay? I think that's all from me. Because uh, the, the, the rest already covered by Dr. Manoj. Uh, I finished earlier. Thank you very much.